Hello and welcome to Shambani Farm. In this very quick video, I want to show you how to properly administer a subcutaneous injection. Some call it in short, sub-Q. But what is a sub-Q injection? A sub-Q injection is an injection that is administered in between the skin and the layer of flesh. That is between the meat and the skin of an animal or any specimen that, uh, that, that you're talking about here. So we're going to demonstrate for you how to administer a subcutaneous injection on a goat. And what are a few things that you will need for you to administer this injection? So the first thing you will need is a needle or rather a syringe. And here is our syringe. A syringe has got three parts. And the first part we're talking about is this uh, pricky part here, the needle. And then the second part is this middle part with the measurement. This is called the barrel. And the last part is this end part, which is called the plunger. Its purpose is to push in the medicine. So the barrel will contain the medicine. The needle will prick into the animal's skin and the plunger will push in the medicine. Now you will notice I've cut the ears of this plunger so that when I push the medicine, I'm able to still withdraw it back. And the reason I've done that is because of the demonstration that I'm doing before you here. I just wanted to show you the movement, the movement of the plunger in and out of the barrel. Uh, so you will need this syringe and the next thing that you will need is something that will be used to clean the area that you want to work on on the animal so uh, spirit will be something that we often use to clean that area in order to avoid any contaminations or any infection accessing the prickle or the area we prickled with the with the needle so after you clean that space or you know for cleaning that space you need a spirit and of course you'll need you'll need um, cotton wool so you will take your cotton wool uh, dip it into spirit and then clean that place before you go in and withdraw the medicine and inject the animal I am also going to show you how to withdraw the medicine from the, the medicine container, so to call it. And, uh, uh, but, but because today we are administering a vaccine for CCPP, I don't want to, 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 to do that before I have my animal right here ready for that treatment because this vaccine is supposed to be stored on a cold environment. So we have it stored on this cold container here that has got ice cubes in it in order to preserve the coldness in it and therefore I'm only going to show you how to withdraw only at the time when we now are ready to go on with the uh, actual injection of the, of, of the vaccine into our animal. So let's go about it now. Uh, let's get our animal and then come and inject showing you through the entire process on how to grab the skin on how to deposit the medicine into the skin and what you need to do after you deposit the medicine into the skin so as i mentioned we need to first withdraw our medicine from uh, no first, first i'll prepare my cleaning my cleaning uh, items so this is the cotton wool and here we have spirit methylated spirit that's enough i will put this back sorry about that yeah so this is my methylated spirit uh, then now i'll go and take my medicine or in this case vaccine so this here is the vaccine for 
CCPP, contagious Caprin pneumonia disease, and it's, it's, it's cold, uh, it's supposed to be preserved that way cold. And to withdraw my medicine, what I'll do is you pull the plunger to the level in which of the medicine you want to withdraw. So if it is one cc or one, uh, one ml, you, 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 you pull it back up to until one ml, somewhere there, and then you go into the uh, medicine container, you release that air space, and then you start withdrawing your medicine or your vaccine. Make sure there are no big bubbles. Uh, push it back to its original position where you achieve your one ml right there. And then once you have it that way, then it's ready. And then you withdraw it out from your uh, medicine container and you put the medicine container back into the chiller so that it remains cold. If you're going to continue to use it with other animals, you close it and then now you go into your, into your animal ready for injection. So this, the fellow here, we're going to use for injection. This is the site that we want to inject, uh, where there is a layer of the skin and the space in between is where we want to deposit the medicine between the flesh the meat and the outer uh, skin so we want to clean this place to get rid of any dirt any uh, contaminations any possible bacteria uh, in order to you know uh, to make the site ready for injection once we have cleaned it and it's ready, it means now we are ready to then inject the medicine. So you'll grab this part here, you'll grab the skin, pull it a bit out and then inject your medicine. I mean, uh, inject your needle yeah! in there. Once you've done that, you'll push the plunger no! to the end and then you withdraw your syringe and then of course you will again uh, clean and let the medicine uh, or the injection or in this case the vaccine uh, continue to do its work so there you have it that's the process of injecting your gut or any animal subcutaneously or giving administering a sub -Q injection now we will show a close range video also as well on how we do that so now it's going to bring another one uh, that we want to administer the same uh, injection or rather the same vaccine and for this one we want to bring the camera a little bit closer so that we get to see in close range how the pulling of the skin and whatnot happens. So that's uh, uh, that, 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 that's it. Uh, because I've used this, I am going to dispose it. Uh, I'm just putting it on the side for now, and then take another another one. Go into my <coughs> methylated spirit container. Grab. Dip it in there, grab some spirit, and then the side. Now I will bring the camera closer so that we have a closer view. Uh, so don't worry about the shakes that will happen. I, I just want to bring the camera much more closer for you to have a closer view of what we are going to do. Right, so now that is a very good visible position. So again, again we're going to need our syringe and then we already have prepared our 
cleanser <laughs> this is methylated spirit and then we go in take our vaccine or medicine if that's the case we're going to give <laughs> one cc or one ml so we will draw air up to one ml level <laughs> this eases the flow of the medicine getting out from from this medicine container so we inject in there release the air and withdraw our medicine easily and right there so once it's right there uh, you push it back to get exactly one ml draw put it back into the needle cover and then you'll put your medicine or your vaccine back into the cold container and then cover it well and now um, let me just add a little bit more of this methylated spirit here for better cleansing She's making noise because the, the colleagues are not here. She's alone. She's wondering what's happening. So this again is how we clean this area. We want to, 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 to inject. Okay, so the area is clean. Uh, this is how we grab, we grab this skin. We want to reach in between the skin and the meat or between the skin and the flesh so this is how we grab it this is how we grab it and uh, so i'll take the cap off and then grab this area well and then push in my syringe making sure that the needle is not into the meat it's in between the skin and the meat and then that's where it is and then we push in our medicine or our vaccine and then once we have pushed it we withdraw the needle and then we definitely uh, cleanse it again after that um, so that's basically it that's how we inject a goat subcutaneously um, and uh, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Our animal now is protected from CCPP through a sub Q injection. So, thank you guys so much for uh, following our channel. We really, really appreciate it.